just happens to be the, the truth. Hang on, I got the hiccups. I got a little chug of water here. Uh, yeah, I'm smoking a cigar down to the nub, and sometimes that causes hiccups. That should do it. Okay, back we are. Rush Limbaugh, the Limbaugh Institute, here at 800-282-2882, if you want to be on the program. David Axelrod was on um, Fox News Sunday. And here's what he said. This, this, everybody's, oh, he just misspoke. No. Well, yeah, he misspoke. But what was actually given away by this comment, I think, is quite illustrative of something. Chris Wallace said in one paragraph, two or three sentences, what's the choice in this election? The choice in this election is between an economy that produces uh, a growing middle class and that gives people a chance to get ahead and their kids a chance to get ahead uh, and an economy that continues down the road uh, we're on where a fewer and fewer number of people do very well and everybody else is running faster and faster just to keep pace. Now the road that we're on is Obama Boulevard. The road that we are on, where fewer and fewer do very well, everybody else running faster and faster, just keep, is Obama Boulevard. That's the road. It may not be a boulevard, probably a county road or some such thing. Axelrod said this because their mindset is that this is 2008. There is no incumbent president right now. We're running against George W. Bush. We are not going to, well, we're going to pretend that the last three and a half years uh, didn't happen. We're not, we're not in office. There is no Barack Obama who's incumbent. I don't, I don't believe, and nobody else does either, by the way, that he really meant to characterize the Obama economy the way he did, but he did describe it accurately. He didn't mean to. That's the point of this. He really screwed this up. Now, the White House is claiming Axelrod's statement was an accident. And they're actually correct. It's always an accident when a Democrat speaks the truth. It's never intended. Now, we're on a toll road, by the way. Obama Boulevard's a toll road, and that's the road that we're all on. And he spoke the truth, and that's the accident. It's always an accident when a Democrat speaks the truth. They're stuck in this 2008 mindset. They're stuck with it's all Bush's economy. They haven't done anything yet. It all boils down. It all goes back, folks, to Obama's personal belief that this country was founded in an immoral, unjust way, uh, including economically. That the, the Founding Fathers were the equivalent of today's 1%, and they set everything up to benefit them and their families and their friends and people like them, uh, and, and forever sentenced the 99% to essential, well, slavery and poverty and discrimination, uh, racism, sexism, bigotry, homophobia, all of that rot-gut stuff that they, in a cliched, what, cliched way, assign to their, their political enemies. But here he comes. Uh, and just happens to tell the god-awful truth about his guy. The choice in this election between an economy that produces a growing middle class, gives people a chance to get ahead in their kids, and there's nothing in the Obama economy that's doing that or that will do that. There's nothing in the Obama economy that can do that because Obama is shrinking the private sector where all of that happens. The private sector is where the middle class grows. The middle class is not in the government sector. It can't possibly grow there. The middle class, well, the, pri the private sector is where people have a chance to get ahead and where their kids have a chance to get ahead, and Obama's shrinking it. There are two million fewer jobs, than, or plus now, since Obama took office. The government has grown from 18% of GDP to 21 or 23, on its way to 25% of our total economy. That's where the Obama economy is headed. The government is getting bigger and bigger, and that's, you know, if, if, if health care is fully implemented, then those numbers change. And when the Democrats start talking about choice, you can be sure that they're lying. Because choice is not what they want you to have. Pro-choice doesn't even mean pro-choice. 
Try telling him, as I did once as an, as an experiment, spearmint for those of you in Rio Linda. I said, I'm pro-choice, I choose abortion. You can't say that. Why not? I choose life. I'm pro-choice, I choose life. You can't do that. Why, I said. Well, because that's not what it means. Well, what does choice mean? Well, I mean, choice means that we stand in opposition to the oppression of Republican Nazis. Oh, but so choice doesn't really mean I have a choice. No, pro-choice, you can't say you're pro-choice and then be pro-life. I, I can't tell you the number of liberals that call me and try to tell me you can't say that. Because that's not what pro-choice means. Little did they know how they were tripping themselves up. Guys, it's quite fascinating that Axelrod utters the truth, which the Democrats only do when they make a mistake, and gives away the mindset. It's 2008 again. They are, they're not going to run on their record. They can't. Not, uh, not one aspect of it. Dick 